Alright. Okay. So, welcome back to the streamies, everybody. We're, uh... We're back. We, uh... We've missed a few streams, but, uh... That's, uh, mostly because I've been uh, really tired lately, so... I was also hoping that, uh, you know, maybe going a little later today would avoid the usual Thursday... Uh, what the fuck is it called? Dropped frames issue. We'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, we're playing Zelda today. We beat Mario last week, I guess. Uh, we'll be going through Zelda today. I, I doubt we'll beat it at this point. We were going to do some extra streams to make sure we do beat it on a regular, uh, time frame. But, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. So, we'll see what we get today. We'll see what we get today. Ba, ba, ba. But, but we're getting a, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Hold on a second. The Legend of Zelda. Long ago, Ganon, Prince of Darkness, stole the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda of Hyrule broke the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces and hid them from Ganon before she was kidnapped by Ganon's minions. Link, you must find the pieces and save Zelda. All right, here's all the treasures. Every single one of them. Second potion, whatever that is. Food. Boomerang. Magical boomerang. With my arrows true. I didn't even know half of these items existed. Quarter. Is it me or I see you darker? Oh yeah, I've changed the lighting. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit. No lights. Uh, Triforce. Please look up the manual for details. Well, don't mind if I do. That's all. Well, if the game's telling me, if the game's telling me, I, I guess we got to read the manual, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Game fucking wants us to read the manual. Is this? I, you got to read the manual. I tricked you all, idiots. Uh, yeah, I don't have that light on over there because I don't have uh, a USB plug-in for the NES without it. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a little different lighting today. Always read the manual, you fucker. Yeah, see, you get it. Especially, okay, so the reason I read manuals for older games is because games like Zelda, where they have the most impressive fucking manuals... You'd pay, what, $50 for uh, a video game back in the day, and you'd get a goddamn 50-page art book. It was amazing. So here we are, the Legend of Zelda instruction booklet. The examples I always remember of amazing art uh, manuals was like Super Mario World, Legend of Zelda... Link to the Past? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, contents, how to, hints on how to destroy Ganon. Basic Winston, the Zelda, the Legend of Zelda ABC. Ooh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, this is, this is, oh, oh, okay, this is, all right, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I realized we were getting a fucking novel here. Oh, baby, all right, hold on. A long, long time ago, the world was in an age of chaos! Uh, I, can't, I can barely fucking read this. In the midst... Bleh, in the midst of this chaos, a little kingdom of... In the land of Hyrule... They could have picked a better fucking color font for this. In a little kingdom in the land of Hyrule, a legend was being handed down from generation to generation. The legend of the Triforce. Golden triangles possessing mystical powers. One day an evil army attacked this peaceful little kingdom and stole the Triforce of Power. This army was led by Ganon, the powerful prince of darkness, who sought to plunge the world into fear and darkness under his rule. 
fearing his wicked rule, Zelda, the princess of this kingdom, split up the Triforce of Wisdom into eight fragments and bid them and hid them throughout the realm to save the last remaining Triforce from the clutches of evil Ganon. At the same time, she commanded her most trustworthy nursemaid, Impa, to secretly escape into the land and go find a man with enough courage to destroy the evil Ganon. A, a fucking Christ. Upon hearing this, Ganon grew angry, <laughs> imprisoned the princess, and sent out a party in search of Impa. Uh, hold on. Is this the actual fucking map? Oh yeah, look at that! It's a very cool looking map. This is what the map that we see in game is supposed to look like, I guess. Uh... Braving forests and mountains, Impa... Impa fled for her life from the, her pursuers. As she reached the very limit of her energy, she found herself surrounded by Ganon's evil henchmen. Cornered! What could she do? But wait, all was not lost. A young lad appeared. He skillfully drove off Ganon's henchmen and saved Impa from a fate worse than death. His name was Link. During his travels, he had come across Impa and Ganon's henchmen. Impa told Zelda... Fucking... Impa told Link the whole story of the princess, Zelda, and the evil Ganon. Burning with a sense of justice, Link resolved to fucking resolved to save Zelda, but Ganon was a powerful enemy. He held the Triforce of Power, and so he ordered, and so in order to fight off Ganon, Link had to bring the scattered eight fragments of the Triforce of Wisdom together to rebuild the mystical triangle. If he couldn't do this, there would be no chance. Link could not fight his way into Death Mountain where Ganon is? What the fuck? Hid? What is that word? I can't read it. Lived. Okay. Can Link really destroy Ganon and save Princess Zelda? Only your skill can answer that question. Good luck! Use the Triforce wisely. Fucking crazy. Yeah, they need to fucking figure out their color choices there. Okay, where where did this picture go? Where, where are, why is it over here? All right, hold on. Hints on how to destroy Ganon. So you see, we get some nice little art here, full color art that really gives the Legend of Zelda a uh, '80s '90s anime feel. It's always very neat. The, the Mario and the Zelda manuals going forward are going to be very cool lookings. Uh, those who have had trouble playing the game, read the story below. When Impa gave Link the order to destroy Ganon, she also told him the history of the land of Hyrule and the layout of the nine underground secret labyrinths. These layouts should be somewhere in this booklet. Did you find them? Uh, not yet. I mean, look at this fucking art. The- the fucking crazy amount of fucking art and detail and storytelling you're getting for your little tiny booklet you got with your video game is crazy. Especially c compared to what we were getting with the... Uh, the Sega ones, the Sonic. Like, those ones were fucking nothing to this. Relying on what Impa had told him, Link has to somehow make his way to Death Mountain. Link just might be able to find out where the mountain is by carefully studying where and when the monsters appear. In the forests and mountains, there are several caves, and in these caves, there live merchants who will sell Link useful items. As well as buying things here, Link can get his hands on other things he can't get elsewhere. Look at this fucking art. It's crazy. Uh, lots of amazing things happen in the springs Link's Link finds here and there. The fairies will give Link a whole new supply of life hearts. These aren't the only secrets to be found. The entrances to the underground labyrinths are hidden all over the place. 
There are also some entrances that are really hard to find. Nevertheless, somewhere you'll be able to find hints on how to solve these riddles. And once Link found, has found a labyrinth, he'll always get an item of treasure. Neat. I don't know whose fucking leg that is, but we, we are like two centimeters from getting a, a back shot of dick and balls. I, I assume it's Ganon, considering the bottom right picture here. Link's going to have to a difficult time trying to destroy Ganon. He's real mean, and even Ganon has his weak point. Yeah, it's his dick and balls, just out of frame. Some friendly character in the game is sure to tell Link about it. Link has destroyed Ganon and has managed to rescue Princess Zelda. Now that he's got a hold of the two Triforces, he once again goes off on his travels, making his way towards countries unknown. Who knows what a future holds for Link? I'm, I'm sorry, did the fucking manual just spoil the fucking ending? We haven't even started the game and the manual's like, and then Link defeated Ganon and all was saved! The fuck, Nintendo? Yeah, I'm just... That was the ending of the game. Creating your own Link character. Link, the hero of The Legend of Zelda, does not yet exist. You create Link by first registering your player name. You must create a total of three different Link characters. I... Oh, you may. Okay. Uh, excuse me? What did they fucking call their Link? They called him fucking Nintendo? I mean, that's better than, what, 80% of kids who played this game who just called him Zelda? Because they didn't read the fucking manual, so they're like, Oh, well, this is clearly his name's Zelda. So much so that this became a fucking Easter egg in the later games, where if you named your character Zelda, you get a nice little secret. Uh, erasing an old Link character. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on here. Nintendo, Mario, and Luigi. All right, well, fucking get on Luigi's level, Mario. What are you gonna do? Uh, well, clearly he's going to erase him, so all right. This permanently erases all data, yeah? All right, gotcha. Starting the game, Nintendo, Mario, Luigi. Game over options. Uh, at this point, you have three options. Continue, save, and retry. Choose, okay, so continue, carry on the same game. This will start a new game where the last one left off. Link will keep all his possessions from the last game. We'll start with three life power heart. Uh, fuck, fuck that. That doesn't sound good. So if I have max hearts and I die and I choose continue, I'm only going to start with three? Is that what the game's telling me? Save. Store the game information for later play. This will store all Link's possessions in the game pack's memory so you can carry on with the same game. Uh, retry. Erase the current game information. This will return you to the starting menu display without saving any information from the last game. That data will be permanently lost. Use this option carefully. Uh, okay, fucking... This is gonna get real elaborate. We are going to make many mistakes. Uh, playing with a with a friend? What? Oh, take turns. Oh, no, no, no! Nintendo! Are you playing with a friend? Just hand off the controller every time you die. Oh, won't that be fun? That's like a fucking nightmare. Take turns. At the end of your game, select save and retry and press start. Your friend could start a game. Yeah, no, fuck you, Nintendo. This is my video game. Little Jimmy over there who came over gets to fucking watch. Oh, well, this is the best fucking art we've seen so far. The best fucking art we've seen so far. What is it with... These fucking pictures of Mario and Link we're finding? He doesn't look like he wants to be here. Am I here? 
just to suffer. Uh, moving, select, yeah, attack. Oh, no, okay, got it. What are the main and sub screens? Okay, so the start, the sub screen is our uh, menu slash inventory navigation, and then the main screen is. It's pretty obvious. Link meets all sorts of challenges above and underground. The overworld, the underworld. We're gonna start breezing through these next three pages because we got 50 pages we gotta go through. Which is crazy, I know. Let's learn some skills! First off, use the use your sword! Alright, so we start off with the sword, we get the white sword eventually, and then a magical sword, which I had no fucking idea. Which, by the way, I have played this game before, I've never beaten it, so we'll see how this fucking goes. I didn't even realize there was a magical sword. That does, I guess, four times the damage? Crazy. Use the shield to fend off enemy attacks, we'll see how fucking well that goes. The white hearts tell you how wounded Link is. The white hearts. If the enemy attacks Link, the life heart, okay. Magical shield. This is bigger than the other shield used to defend off enemy spells and rocks. And Zola Ball! I. That has to be a typo, right? Zola? Is this in that era where they hadn't figured out what they wanted to call things yet? Or is that just a weird translation shit? Uh, rub Rubbies? We got our good friend Rubbies over here? Oh no! Oh no, we're in the bad timeline! I'm sorry, Link. I can't give you credit. Come back when you have more Rubbies. Rubies are the money used in this game. Rubies. Oh no. Oh no, what else is fucking wrong here? Why, why is everything getting dragged around? Uh, heart container and hearts. Key and magic key. Magic key, I assume, is the one for the... Oh, yeah, can use it over and over. All right, well, we're going to have to fucking look for that, I guess. Uh, ladder and raft. So I think this is literally... I think we'll be able to get to... Okay, without the raft. I think this is literally the only Link who isn't able to swim throughout the entire game. Which is kind of crazy. Not really, but... Uh, map of labyrinths and compasses. Letter to little old lady. When you choose this letter at the sub... Yeah. Little old lady who lives inside one of the mini caves. Ominous. Blue and red rings. The blue ring reduce... Okay, so this is going to be very important we get these rings. Uh, the croissant. Or the, the fucking dog collar. Oh no, Link, don't put that on. People are going to think some things about you. Which are probably true. Uh, what you. Wooden boomerang and the magical boomerang. Stop right there! Bomb. For each bomb he picks up, he gets four bombs. Link can carry at most eight bombs. Bow and wooden and silver arrows. So as far as I remember through osmosis, the silver arrows are the only ones that can damage Ganon, I think. From what I remember. Uh, this one. Blue and red candles. Some of the rooms inside the labyrinth are really dark. Okay. Whistle? I thought it was a recorder. A really mysterious magical item. Use it and it'll amaze you what you can do. Enemy fate. I, I completely forgot that existed. Uh, water of life. 
drink this and all of Link's life will turn red. Red water turns blue when Link sips it. Drink the blue water and that's the last of the- okay. Seems a little- uh, fucking- what is with this art?! What is with this art?! Link looked like he has fucking two brain cells! He's really enjoying that water, guys. He's also got his shield on backwards, so I don't know how effective that's gonna be. Chibi Linky, this fucking the teeny tiny baby Linky. Enjoying a little juice. His juice. Uh, magical wand. This is the wand that the Wizrobes use. That Wizrobe use. Wave it to let loose magical spells. What's more, if Link picks up magical book and learns some new spells, he can chant some fiery spells instead of- okay. Let's get some Triforce together. It, it's crazy that we get this great art, and then right next to it we get actual screenshots taken from a fucking CRT. That look like shit. It is really weird looking. Which apparently is only going to get worse on the next page. Well, not the next page. In one of the next few pages. The overworld. Okay, you've started the game. Now, first of all, look at the top left of the main screen. Okay, so th this is literally just telling us what to do. Which, you know, fair enough. Adventure games were uh, real rough back then. Uh, Link can meet all sorts of people above ground, not just enemies. Yeah, old man, old lady, and weirdo creep. We don't talk about weirdo creep. Uh, the nasty characters Link bumps into in the overworld. We got Tektites, classic. We got Octorocks, which again, great art for each of these. I'm not sure what. Not sure if it matches what the sprites are conveying, but whatever, especially with the Octorok there. Uh, we got the lever. The P hat, which. The P hats would return. They never go away. They, they always find a way to fucking sneak them back in. Uh, okay, let's see. We got. Moblin? A bulldog-like goblin, a moldlin. We got Armos. We got Guineas. And we got Lionels! Which, uh, I'm sure anybody who's been playing Breath of the Wild or uh, Tears of the Kingdom are having some fucking PTSD. I have some good memories of those guys, I'm sure. Okay, it's not a spelling mistake. Zola. Half fish, half woman. Half woman. That's a girl. Oh. She's beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> half fish, half woman. Who lives in the water. When she sticks her head out of the water, she lets out a ball that Link's little shield can't hold back. Oh no. Yeah, so I, I'm guessing that's just a translation issue. This was the same thing with like, One Piece, where it's like, his name's not Zoro, it's Zol- it's Zolo. Clearly. Rock. That's our favorite character. These rocks crumble off Death Mountain. Uh, caves are not only in places you can't see. Got it. What's going on with this? There we go. Uh, the underworld. Okay, now that Link's found an entrance to the labyrinth, he can last begin his fight to find the Trihorse Fragments. Got it. Let's walk around inside the labyrinth. Uh, the, these arts. Look, look at this fucking art. It's 
It's getting worse every page we go. Uh, yeah, okay. This is all knowledge that we've all gone through in later Zelda games. It's kind of become, you know... Basic knowledge, I guess, would be the word. There are other treasures as well as the Triforce. Uh oh! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh! Hold on! Manji means peace, right? Manji. Ah! Uh. Manji meaning? Uh signifies the Buddha's footsteps okay, sure, whatever. Uh yeah, that that sure hasn't fucking aged well. I don't even know if that aged well back then. Alright, well This also kind of uh there's so many goddamn Zelda fact videos on YouTube that are like, Did you know that the, the fucking dungeon layouts are shaped after an eagle, a moon, a manji, a snake, a lizard, and all that? It's like, this was common knowledge if you read the manual. Which most people didn't, so fucking fair enough, I guess. Uh, ba -ba -ba. The enemies that Link fought- okay. We got Zold and Gel. We got Rope. A poisonous sta- oh, okay. Why, why did they call the snake a rope? Ropes. I hate ropes. Buyer and Keys. Stalfos, okay. At least they got that right. Uh, Wallmasters. Goria. A little devil that lives underground. He uses boomerangs. There are two types, blue ones and red ones. We got our whiz ro robes, we got our dark nuts. Which, I, still not a great name. Uh, our poles voice. A ghost with big ears and a weak point. He hates loud noise, which, again, they translated it for the manual, but it doesn't translate well to the game because, okay. In the American version of the game, that doesn't mean fucking anything. You're going to be blowing the flute and nothing's going to be happening, but... So essentially what it means is in the Japanese version, the NES controllers, or I guess the Famicom controllers, had microphones on the controllers. That essentially if you blew into it or screamed into it, I can't remember, the poles would die. So essentially the American version is way harder. And then the Lan Mola, a gigantic centipede. Okay, well, sounds like a bad time already. Uh, got like likes, give those, Moldorms, the Dongos. It hasn't got so much attacking power, but it bounces out. Okay, a Mahandala, Manhandala. Aquamentis? Yeah, we don't see a lot of these any time after this. Or maybe I don't fucking see them because I there are a lot of Zelda games I haven't played. We got our Patras, our Dig Doggers, our Gomas, our Gleox. Wait, I think they're Gleox in uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh yeah, no, there there are Gleox. All right, so they did bring Gleox back. Uh, head of Gleox. Oh, okay, and then there's bubbles. Very dangerous. Voiced by Terra Strong. Uh, traps and stone statues. Somebody placed these in the labyrinths a long time ago. They suddenly attack Link when he approaches the. Okay, I was about to say I don't think statues are, but the shoe fireballs, right? Uh, and now to fight the death, fight to death with Ganon. Yeah. 
Linkus collected the eight fragments and completed the Triforce of Wisdom. Now he's ready to fight Ganon in the depths of Death Mountain. What is Ganon? What's Ganon like? Nobody knows. Nobody has lived to tell the tale. He's hot. Oh no, he's hot. Uh, the Legend of Zelda ABCs. The complete strategy for getting to level one. Yeah, okay, well. So this was also back in the day where the manuals would also be like, all right, well, here's how you do the first 10% of the game. Yeah, this is just straight up a guidebook now. I think the last time I saw this was uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4 on the 3DS. Its manual helps you get all the way to, I think, Shibuya. Which, which is a lot! Oh my god. Uh, okay, well, map to get the level 2 underground. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think that was a fucking poster. Plants with FCC regulations. Uh, re... <laughs> Reorient the receiving antenna. Relocate the Nez with respect to the receiver. What? Yeah, okay, I guess this was back in the day of radio televisions. Not radio televisions, but uh, the fact that radios could destroy your TV. Uh, move the Nez away from the receiver. Plug the Nez into a different outlet so that the computer and receiver are on different circuits. I just want to play Zelda, man. I don't know why you have to make it so goddamn complicated. 90 day warranty. Looks like we're getting to the end of the manual. Oh, wait! No, it doesn't! I, I think these were actually uh, posters that came with it. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so here, here is literally just... A giant map, which is very useful, thankfully. I'm glad they include this. Hold the fuck on. No, they're still called Zolas. All right. Uh, yeah, so there's the entire Zelda map right there. It, e it even has... Hold on here. Level four. Okay, well it goes up to level four at least. Yeah, I think these question marks are the other ones. I was gonna say, if they're just telling you everything, th this is quite a manual. Uh, how to make adventure map. What? What? Uh, tips for underworld survival. If you have successfully completed one and two, you will need to make your own underworld maps from now on. Uh, if you notice, there is a map and compass hidden in each labyrinth. Compass will show- okay. Again, we, we get a little weird-looking Link here. Which is the best goddamn art we've gotten so far. Fuck that amazing 80s, 90s anime art we got at the beginning. This is more of the art we want. Look at this fucking dweeb. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what he's here for. Uh, Impa recounts Zelda's parting words. Okay, well, fucking Christ. Princess Zelda has anticipated the difficulty of finding the entrances to level 7, 8, and 9 labyrinths. She gave the following clues to Impa who passed them on to Link. The mysterious sealed entrance to level 7 labyrinth is in the brown dead for- Okay, this is- We will- If we have trouble finding it, we will come back to this manual. Fucking what? 
You asked for it. The complete guide to level one and two. I, I didn't ask for this. I'll fuck it. I'll figure it out, video game. And there we go. That's that's the whole manual. That was a whole goddamn trip right there. Again, back in the day when the manual had to explain the plot to you because the video game just didn't have the power to do so. This was uh, this was one of the fucking better manuals out there. Especially when you compare it to, again, like Sonic and all that, when you would get a weird black and white vague manual with uh, horrible localization, which, to be fair, this one did have localization issues too. I just have to move a chair out of the way. Alright. So I guess with that out of the way, we can, we can... We can finally just... We can do what we came here to do. We can play the fucking video game. And I can switch this. That. Hold on, how does that work? Oh, it's real spooky. Hold on. Pop that up. Pop that up. Yeah, sure, whatever. That's fine. Alright. The Adventure of Link awaits! that oh, loud it's just annoying which uh is the worst of it all right well uh, okay uh link more like fucking sink this is literally the only link that can't swim i'm i believe now how do i end how do i end there sink zero all right our adventure begins it's dangerous to go alone take this Thank you, old man. Ghost old man. Oh, right! I fucking forgot that you could just do this right off the bat! Alright, well... Our wooden sword can shoot energy beams. Uh, now most people would head, you know, north. We're not doing that. There's some stuff we can go get this way. This is going to take some getting used to. There is so much we can get before stepping into uh, the first dungeon. It's, it's crazy. Puts here. Oh god, oh no. Oh no, my energy beams! Alright! Oh, this fucking thing's a nightmare! These goddamn Zolas, I tell ya! I know, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Fuck this area over here. Fuck it! 
I, I, we are definitely not supposed to be over here yet. All right, well, our, our shield de definitely does not stop Zola balls, which the manual did tell us. I think this right here shows us that we can... This weird flat area shows us we can use our raft here. Alright, so that's what we came all the way over here for. Uh, bombs. Buy something, will ya? Hold on here. Yeah, alright. Can, can I, can I, I don't have 20 rupees. What am I doing with my life? Hold on. The name's Link, and I'm braver than brave. Oh yeah, we get to listen to this. Oh boy, and the enemies don't respawn. I don't remember that. Fucking mind. Oh yeah, hold on. I forgot with uh, Knuckles Chaotix we uh, switch this up. anymore but now it's all now it's all fucked up there we go all right everything should sync up now yeah all right oh this is a good fucking crt filter hold on a second Alright, it's just the menu that seems to be cut off, so that's fine, I guess. Yeah. So we need 20 rupees so we can get some bombs. Well, more bombs than what we have. fucking lost woods already hey deal with that I fucking forgot that enemies don't respawn they're gonna make getting rupees fucking problematic I'm sorry rubies don't want to confuse that with the, the real world currency oh boy I, I thought they just constantly respond. This is, uh, not what I expected. I mean, these guys are going to continue respawning. That's because, uh, it's the Lost Woods. You're supposed to be, uh, good. You're supposed to be, uh, having a hard time if you don't know the path. I need rupees. Rupees, please! I should have had 20 by now. It's crazy. What does this do? Oh, right. And I didn't think that through. All right. Let's go get some bombs. Basically, we're going to be just going around gathering stuff for a while. We have so much cool shit before the first dungeon. 
Right, can't block that. Oh boy, having a good time already. come out of this in a better spot we have all way more rupees rubies Dirty motherfucker all right so we just gotta watch out here because the fucking things here get real annoying remember their names They're the worst things ever Boy. I I just need to get back. We should maybe take our time. A little better at this. Like after we get these bombs, we're gonna be getting so much more hearts. It's kind of very important. Oh, see, now they didn't respawn. What the fuck? All right, well, we can go about my way. Okay, what? Why isn't my A button working? Because I'm too close to the side of the screen. What the fuck? I was trying to shoot energy beams, but they weren't coming out! We just gotta sneak into that cave there. Buy something, will ya? You. Hey, he just disappears like an angel's kiss. All right. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay. I do have a map up here that uh, shows where the secret locations are. So we're not just bombing walls for an hour. Make this a lot easier. That's basically how I would have played it back in the day. A little wee boy with a fucking Nintendo power. And so it should be the next screen. Alright, so this is one of the weirdest choices. Take any one you want! You can either get a potion that will refill all your health, or you could just get a fucking fourth heart. Seems obvious, doesn't it? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let me just look at this map. So we go up two and to the right two. Probably. Think so? Beware the traps. Oh, fuck it, there are so many traps in this game. And these Morblins, or a fuck, whatever the fuck the game wanted to call them. This isn't the Lost Woods, is it? No. Lost Woods is on the left side of the map, I'm pretty sure. Fucking Christ! Calm down, everyone! Okay, thank God. I should have guessed that that was an enemy. Oops!
We are taking so much damn. We need those fucking power rings. I'm taking way too many unnecessary hits, I guess is the problem. I, I would like some hearts, please! That's just that's just lost forever. I didn't want it anyway. God damn it. Alright. Just making my way downtown. Walking fast, faces fast. the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I don't even think I want to be in there right now. Alright, so is this still open? No, it's of course it's not. Do I have to take a hit? Holy shit, calm down! Holy fuck! Alright, well... Piece of shit, you piece of shit, you piece of shit. Uh, do, do I have to take a hit? Hold on. Yeah, I guess I do. That's bullshit. It's a secret to everybody! Okay, th thanks. For ten fucking rupees. Alright, asshole. That wasn't worth it at all. Uh, Alright, so there should be another thing up here. I'm pretty sure. Look at this map. Boy, is there! This one? It's, uh, it's a little more worth it, at least. It's a secret to everybody! Wow. Fucking get me out of here. Uh, that's fucking okay. Hold on. Boop. Uh, let, let, let me guess. It's a secret to everybody! Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Tell everyone. There's so many secrets in this game. Did I bomb the wrong fucking wall? Hold on here. Oh, no, I bombed it. I bombed the right wall. I just didn't do it in the exact spot. Oh, it's a secret. Everybody. Take it. A, a fucking course, old man. You fucking idiot. What do you think I'm going to do? All right. Uh, ugh. All right. Well. Off we go! Adventure awaits! Get these fucking tectites out of here! We are venturing into dangerous territory here! Yeah, we can't. I don't think we can damage these things. Uh... This fucking map. I don't think it's these, but I'm going to go up here. Yeah, no. This map is uh, a little hard to decipher. Probably should have picked a better map. Uh, okay, well, hold on here. It's a secret to everybody! Rich 
boy. I'm a very rich boy. All right, down we go. I, I don't think I've even ever found that before. I don't even know what sort of fucking secret would indicate that that was there. Show this to the old woman! Yes, man. Off we go! We're gonna collect so much shit before we get to the first dungeon! Get this shit out of here! Holy fuck! Sick of these goddamn tectites already! Uh, buy something, will ya? I, I need this. Thank you. Fucking... Alright, and then we take a left. And I think we keep going. And we take him up. And then we get- Oh my god, it's a fucking Lionel! Oh! That's the Breath of the Wild experience right there. Oh, look at that, that beautiful Lionel! Ah, oh, I'm dead! Don't touch Lionel, skids. They don't like to be touched. They don't like to be approached. They just don't like people in general. With his trusty throwing dagger, I guess. Uh, uh, come on. Oh, I hate it here. Uh, so if I just keep heading north... I just keep heading north... Oh, it sucks. Oh, it sucks. Oh, it sucks. We are back here? Okay, good. Alright, Lionel, you piece of shit! Round two, motherfucker! Get this fucker out of here. Chop off her head. Because apparently these are women! Shooting fucking fireballs at us! Say it to my face! Alright. Master using it and you can have this! Wow. Alright, well there's our white sword. Should double our damage. Kind of feels like it has a, a second delay, or uh, like a half a second delay. But uh, yeah, there's no Master Sword in this game, so we're gonna have to fucking deal. Alright, where to next? Uh. Alright. Shit, I hear. Oh my god, that's not fair! Ah, Rox! My favorite character! Ah, more Rox! More, more popcorn! More delicious, delicious popcorn! Oh my god. Uh, hold on here. Oh my god, this is hell. Oh my god! Ah! Uh, could have sworn there was a... Alright, hold on. Okay, we just had to be very precise. It's a secret to everybody! I get that a lot! There's so many secrets, I don't think I can keep them all. Alright, so the first dungeon's actually there to the left. I don't worry about that. Uh, 
what is this? Top right. Secret, secret, I got a secret. Oh my god. That's fine. We're gonna die, we're gonna respawn real close. We, we need that first fucking ring. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it should be just up there. Ah! So I gotta stand like right here? Yeah. It's a secret to everybody! Hyrule Land of Secrets. Alright, there should be another heart here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five bushes in. Like right here. Fuck you, old man. It's a terrible choice. Alright, well. Uh, and there should be a shield over here. Read this. Okay. Boy, this is really expensive! Fuck you. Alright, so we got a bigger shield now. The magical shield? Yeah. Alright. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fucking whole thing. Alright. Oh, fucking... So we should be able to to block Zora balls now. Hold on. I, I mean Zola balls. I'm fucking. Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Look at that. It's a secret to everybody. Oh, but fuck you. This is the worst worst fucking secret I've ever seen. You tell everybody. This place sucks. Uh, hold on here. Yeah, this is a little confusing. Nope! Alright, so there should be... Oh, it's actually open already. Buy something, will ya? I will. It's a secret to everybody! What is with this fucking town? Why's everything gotta be a goddamn secret? Uh, fucking, I don't know, is it this one? No. Is it a fucking piece of shit? This one? Hold on. I can only use it once per screen, it seems. It's kind of bullshit, but whatever. Okay. It's a secret to everybody! That's a hundred fucking rupees right there! Okay, yeah, I'll keep your secret, sir! Secret's safe with me. Oops. Uh, it's gonna be a well-kept secret when I fucking die. Right at the beginning of the game, I could just die and start with three hearts. It 
So see, this, this is generally the normal path everybody takes when they play this game. For the first time. They head north, they look around here, they see a bunch of Octoroks. That one Octorok is uh, faster than the rest for some reason. I think that's the old lady in there that we need to show the note. Yes, in fact it is actually. Buy medicine before you go. They they were they were one number off of a real funny joke here. 68. 68 rupees? You kidding me? Sucks. Fuck you, Nintendo. Alright, uh... Adventure awaits! And block this now, right? Boy, can I! Can't block his big, meaty arms from punching me. Uh, okay, hold on here. Oh god, Lost Woods! Oh no! What have I done? Well, that was a fucking mistake. I mean, I know the path, it's just not the path I want to take right now. It's, uh, northwest, southwest, secret passageways in the forest. Head left from here. For some reason I didn't take into account the uh, the lost woods. Would help if I started with more than three hearts. It really would. Uh, dude, you fucking cocksucker. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's, uh... Oh, what now, buddies? Oh, what now, friends? It's a secret to everybody! Uh-huh. Unless you bought the Nintendo Power like I did. All right. Okay. I don't have to actually traverse the Lost Woods for yet, so we'll just head right and up. Or we won't, because I fucking... What am I doing? It's a secret to everybody! A hundred fucking rupees! It's a good gosh darn secret right there. Uh, the man has had, a, has had a little problem there. Uh, what am I looking at here? Left? Yeah, all right. Uh, I think it's the bottom left. 
Holy shit! It's a secret to everybody! Oh, fuck off. Tell everyone. Ten rupees is not enough to keep a secret. Motherfucker. Uh, some fairy fountains to the north. This sure is expensive! Uh, 250! Holy shit! Did I miss one? No, alright. Fuck it, I guess. We'll just have to grind some goddamn rupees. So we can start taking less damage. It's gonna be worth it! It's an investment! 30 rupees is a bit much, though. Ah, oh, 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 what have I done? Oh, this was a mistake. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We're not actually too far from uh, the start here. Grind out some rupees. Got them tectites. Why are some of these Octoroks so much faster than the others? Today's the day you die! Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till we get that magic sword and everything dies in one hit. Those will be the days, I tell you. Where I stop taking unnecessary hits. They're all fucking dead. Rupees, please. I'm sorry, rubies. I, I'm never going to get over that. Yeah, no thanks. Goodbye. You asshole. You asshole. I see that the Zoras... Zolas, I'm sorry, do not remain dead. That's a great fairy. We're not going to waste that. Should also be a great fairy. Oh, it's a fake great... Oh, wait. Actually, I think this is a dungeon. Later on, have to play the flute or something, right? It will drain, showing off its graphics. Holy shit. It is having a hard time with all these fucking mobberins. Alright, 10 more rupees. We can do it. I can't do it. 
Holy shit. Holy shit. It's fucking slow down. It's exactly how I remember it. At least we're not, like, losing rupees or anything. Most games would, you know, take some rupees away as a punishment. It's not so bad. You literally just live, die, and repeat. Sound investment. We're going to have no money after this. All right. 250 is, is kind of excessive, you piece of shit. All right, boy, this is really expensive. Yeah, yeah, it is. My fucker. So we should be taking... A quarter less damage? I'm really sure how the blue ring works. Uh, hold on, let me. Uh... Hold on. Once acquired, Link cannot revert to his green outfit during the play. What? But, but I, I, I'm i wearing my green outfit. The fuck you talking about? This all... Hold on, what? Cost 250 rupees, making this the most expensive item in the game. When purchased by Link, this item changes his outfit from green to a light blue color. No, it fucking doesn't. No, it fucking doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, well... Apparently we bought a tunic! Uh... This altar tunic cuts all damage dealt to Link by enemies in half. Alright, hey, so that's worth it! Alright, so now we can, uh... We can be on our way, I guess. Go to the first dungeon. Finally, after after eighty years, eighty four years. Yeah, I. So the red one would turn us red, I guess, right? So there's already a, a blue and a red tunic in the first fucking Zelda game. It's crazy. We're, we're getting so many goddamn fairies that we don't even need them. They literally just, you head north and you get to the first dungeon. It, it's that easy. Seems like a lot of my inputs are going in. The same thing we felt with Mario. Mario! Uh, is it here? No, is it here? There it is. Yeah, so if we need another uh, potion, we can buy that there, but we don't need it right now. The name's Link. And I'm braver than brave. All right, into the weird spooky tree.
Come on. Wow. Alright, so there's no secrets anytime soon that I need to worry about. Oh, we're so strong. Look at us. Our big old man hands. Stuffle's got nothing. having a real hard time with uh, moving screens though. Just infinite keys, holy shit. Most peninsula is the secret. I, I think we got that already. I don't think we have to worry about that one. Uh, is that a fucking map? Already? Just not even in a chest? Oh, yeah, it is. What was this supposed to be? Hold on. Pull up that fucking manual. supposed to be in the shape of something. Uh, an eagle. Was it? Hold on. Yeah, I guess. like an eagle, but whatever. They did what they could. don't respawn here either. I, I don't remember the fact that enemies didn't respawn. Could have swore it was uh, a lot more tedious, a lot more hard than that, but I guess not. What the fuck is the gimmick in this? Hold on. Oh, these guys can take a fucking hit! So this should lead to the underground. We get the, the boomerang, I guess. Oh my god. All right. Oh, the bow. Oh, hey, look, we got arrows. This will work. Weird that we got this so fucking early. Do I just have infinite arrows? If so, that, that's not bad. It's pretty good.
And now we got a boomerang. All right, well, we're just getting everything, it seems. Oh! And you can hear the boss. That's pretty cool. Get the fuck off! Fuck off! And you know that hey, he's literally in the next room. Wait. Okay, so we don't have infinite arrows. It costs rupees for some fucking reason. I'll use my boomerang. Sure, whatever. Alright! I don't remember what his name was. Gamora. And he's dead. Alright, well. Oh, that was the boss! One Triforce down. Easy. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. At least we didn't actually take damage from that. It just kind of shoved us back in the hole. gonna follow this map a bit so we can unlock the other potion shop I guess not that we've needed it yet do I still have a potion yeah I do It just okay. All right. Well, we'll just keep in mind where all these fucking potion shops are. That didn't even count as damage. Apparently. Fucking there. Alright. Oh, this is a more complicated map. Holy shit. This one is apparently the moon. Oh, hey, the ropes that we've heard so much about. By so much, I mean we read the fucking manual. Oh, they're wily. Oh, they're wily. Maybe I should use my boomerang. Definitely. Okay. Thought we would have got something out of that, but I guess not. Giving that away, huh? Well, by the end of this, we should have enough to buy a red ring. If they need buying.
they blend in with the fucking floor, don't they? Okay. I don't think we needed the compass to uh, figure that one out, actually. Yeah, that's, that's the moon, all right. We just keep blowing our way through walls here. We can use keys like a normal person. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's head this way. Apparently, there's a mini boss in the next room anyway. Oh, these guys, these guys take a whooping. We get the magic boomer. Wow, we barely ha had our boomerang at all, didn't we? So what's this one do? Oh, go, it go real far. We immediately ditched that boomerang. Five rupees. Great. Thank you. Dodongo dislikes smoke! Dodongo don't like smoke! Uh, did we just skip the whole goddamn mini-boss? Is that what the point of that was? Alright, well we're going in there anyway. Oh. Oh, God. There it was. What a mini-boss. So can you guess what Dodongo don't like smoke means? Also, you can hear the boss. Again, a neat detail. It'll probably make a little kid shit their pants. It means, hey, why don't you just Pinocchio this, this Dodongo a little bit? Make him eat your bombs. Because they produce smoke. He don't, li he don't like smoke. Look at that! Easy peasy. It's almost like we collected a bunch of unnecessary shit that has, uh, trivialized the first half of the game, at least. Da 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 da! Alright, off to this great fucking place. It's, uh, you know, a little weird that the map doesn't fill out. I don't know if we can get an overworld map. Actually, I don't even know if the, the Nez would be able to produce an entire world map up there. Uh, that's fucking...
I should be heading down? Where the fuck am I? Oh, okay. Not so bad. <laughs> There's a uh, another potion shop. No, that's the the same potion shop. Which again, we don't need. Level three, baby. Let's just not pay attention to what this map's gonna look like. Uh, where the fuck did I start here? Okay, no, that makes sense. Don't mind me, I just can't read a map. Are these guys supposed to be dangerous? What's going on? These jube jubes. I can remember their name. They're these jelly boys. These slime monsters. Monsters. Oh, dark nuts! Oh, hey! They're a lot less dangerous than I remember. Oh, well, they, they still do a lot of damage. Uh, fucking, can we go up? These jube jubes? Also, I'm not sure if the keys carry over between dungeons. If they do, that would be pretty useful, because we, we could save a lot by just bombing through some walls. Did you get the sword from the old man on top of the, the waterfall? Yes, I did. Thank you. Don't mind me. I'm just going to grab my shit and leave. I wouldn't be right now if I didn't. We'd be having a fucking much rougher time with those dark nuts. Fucking give me my boomerang. This stupid shit. Bruh. Uh, where's the map? Okay. Get a better track. Of yes, I know, old man! We could attack him, but that would uh, cause a scene, and we don't want to do that. Ah, uh, just don't pay attention to that up there, that's fine. It's a manji! And listen to that, you can hear the boss! We, we can actually go to the boss right now if we wanted. You collect everything else in here first. I was gonna say, did we get a treasure in the last dungeon? Yeah, I guess we did. It was the, uh, the magic boomerang. In all its glory. Uh, okay, we can't kill these, I, I believe. Boy, can't we. Oh, Lord! I don't think they're damaging us, though. No, they aren't. Alright. Neat. Let's fucking excuse me. Excuse me! Can't be waiting, huh? Oh. Thanks for the raid, Junie June. What's going on? Uh, damn. This leads to a dead end, so we'll head here first. Dead end, I guess I lied. 
Holy shit. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. I was talking all that good shit earlier. It's been a while since I've heard that fucking raiding thing because it never fucking worked, so it spooked me a little bit. Is it Cur Colonel? It's been so long. This, okay, thank you. There we go. Holy shit. I, I did all this for a raft? They call me Sink for a reason. Holy jeez. <laughs> Look at this boomerang. Holy... I should be using this thing, this thing more often! It's crazy. Anyway. Uh, compass should be in the next room. Oh, oh. Uh... We might have to use that potion, which is fine. We got enough money to buy a new one after the dungeon anyway. Oh yeah, I guess the enemies are gonna respawn. We went underground. Okay, yeah, I guess, I guess we could just head to the boss now. Got the raft. Got the bombs. They're, they're kind of getting a little little crazy with these dark nuts. All right. Don't don't make me sit here and watch this. No. All right. Well, that's gonna be annoying. So we just gotta watch out for the shields, I guess. That's their gimmick. So we went to the room upstairs that had the map, which we could skip the next room if we wanted. Not that we take damage here from these guys. Mostly just here to annoy us. And disable our shield, I guess. What's going on? Or our, our sword, our sword. Well, that's why we came here. We came for for, for that. All right. Uh. Okay. Here we go. Is it bombs? Oh, jeez. Oh, oh boy, oh boy! Oh lord! What you want from me? How am I out of bombs? Alright. Just get in there. There, easy. Let's get out of this goddamn dungeon as fast as we can. It's a manji, I swear. Oh, what have I done? All right, so from here, we got a ways to go. Now that we have the raft, we can actually go grab some other stuff on our way there. So we're gonna do that. Zola. All right. 
we gotta take quite the detour for this one. So that's where we started the game. We're just gonna keep heading right. Basically, we're gonna be ta taking the same path we did right at the beginning of the game to get the bombs. But we're gonna head north once more. Actually, now that I think about it, we have a raft. There is another heart piece we can grab. Literally on the way. Yeah, I guess keys do carry between dungeons. So I just I should literally just take as many shortcuts as I can. Yeah, we don't need to buy another potion. Not yet, at least. Right there, look at that. How do I... How do I raft, though? How do I raft? Tell me how to raft! I need to find a... Uh, I probably need to find a board or something. The old goof troop. Alright, there we go. Wow! Fucking nice try. Nice try, old man. You're never gonna trick me. And... We need to go all the way back. Honestly, if we headed straight from the last dungeon, we could have been to this dungeon real quick. Surprised we don't have to deal with the uh, Lost Woods yet. Definitely remember having to do that a lot earlier. Ow, ow. It's fine. So what the hell is the red tunic gonna do? Is it gonna nullify 75% of the damage we take? Because right now we're, we're taking half damage, so... 75 is gonna be pretty good. I took a wrong turn. Honestly, we actually could have kept going. This all leads to the same spot. And up we go. Alright, off to... What is this? The snake. The soggy snake. It's perfect. It's green. It's perfect in every way. The compass is actually really close. I, we don't need it. We need the map. Which I can't see yet. What are you? Oh! Oh, it's Satan! I got it! Uh, yeah. Okay, so these guys are actually taking quite a few hits. What is this? We've taken quite a few hits, so we should be looking at maybe getting the magic sword soon. Well, fuck this, I'm not doing this. I don't think we can. I think the magic sword is going to be a pretty late game. Okay, I see what the gimmick of this uh, level's gonna be. It's going to be pain. Fuck this! I'm just I'm just gonna leave. I don't think the door's locked. I'm 
Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Let's get a deal with this. Uh, huh. All right, so this one probably would have stumped me as a kid. Just don't even bother. There's a big old moat right in the middle of the, the level there. I don't want to waste the rupees. We might need that for a magic sword later. Okay, heading up would have actually been worthless. We would have been stuck in a, uh, a little remote island. Nothing to do. Okay, stay, stay far away from these guys. Figure out which way I need to push this, though. Okay, please stop. I'm gonna get knocked into these like likes. We're not going to be having fun after that. Could maybe just throw a bomb at them. Oh, we have no bombs. Still? Okay, so that's, I'm pretty sure, what we needed to get that heart piece. For some reason, we honestly probably could have just used the raft, but all right. Uh, so this will help us get over that moat from earlier. Honestly, just skip through a lot of this garbage. Don't gotta worry about none of that no more. right and grab that map. Okay. Uh, yeah, look, look at that snake! That spooky, spooky snake. Uh, we Again, we don't have any bombs. There's a rupee room right above us, which sucks. We should have bought some bombs on our way here, but whatever. Okay, we got a mini boss. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. A nice little bottle of water. Glad they make me sit through that every time. All right, I, I probably should have just taken the risk at that point. Walk into the waterfall! This old man. I don't think we did that. I don't know what the gimmick of this room is, considering we, we should have the, the ladder already. Alright, so I, I think we're guaranteed to get damaged there no matter what. So there's literally a rock right in front of us to stop us from moving. Oh, hey, we can hear the boss! Who would later return in uh, Tears of the Kingdom? I can't even remember his name. It was like fucking Gira. Ghidorah. Uh, left. 
How bad could this be? Oh yeah, that's how bad it could be. I forgot his head comes off. Oh! It was fine. No love was lost. Alright. And that's the, uh, the snake dungeon. Pretty easy. But still, it's a secret to everybody! Oh, okay, actually, we're on our way to get the magic sword right now. All right. We just need to uh, head back to the beginning of the game. It's a secret. Actually, I don't even know if that uh, secret rupee room was worth it, because it was only, like, ten rupees. Nothing. All right. We're gonna... Take the long path around again. This is the like the seventh or eighth time we've done this. Making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past. Motherfucker. Except this time we can actually get the heart container. What do I, what do I bother? So with the uh, magic sword, we should be able to kill basically every enemy in the game in one hit. Which, I think it just comes down to Dark Nuts. And those boomerang guys for some reason. I don't know why they're so tough. I'm, uh, I'm, here, for, I'm here for that. No, leave me alone. Bruh. Oh yeah, okay, so I forgot that this next dungeon actually has a whole elaborate route for it. We might actually have to head through the Lost Woods for this. No, we don't. Still no Lost Woods! Which is crazy. We're probably gonna have to find an old lady for a potion, though. Let's we'll just wait to see how much the uh, sword is. I don't think we have to buy that, though. We have the raft, we can cross this river. Adventure awaits! Ouch. Ah, uh, this is probably worthless, but... Okay, well maybe I won't go in there, thank you. Yeah, no, no thanks. Actually, I don't think we need bombs yet. Hold on. Let's figure out how much this croissant is. Oh, it's free. This delicious croissant. Croissant. And then we head left. All right, I'm going to buy some bombs. Oh boy, that looks like a fun area over there that we're gonna have to go to in a sec. Oh no. Oh god, it's just all Lionels now! Oh, you thought fucking Breath of the Wild was bad! Oh, Jesus! Holy shit. Alright, up. And what is it? This one? Yeah. Master using it and you can have this! Alright, so there's the uh, magic sword. Should be times four damage. Our equivalent to the master sword. Is this the same area? Where? 
Yeah, it is. All right. So everything should die in one hit. Theoretically. And test us out on those uh, Lionels. We're going to have to uh, punch and kick our way through. Oh boy, do they! Ow! This is why we bought the bomb. That was a lie. Is, is that a tree? Am I burning it? The, the power bracelet? What am I doing wrong here? Alright, hold on. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm pushing the wrong rock. Of course I am. Silly me. Take any road you want! Uh, This one? Did I- did I do it right? Yeah, okay. That was a little vague. Took the wrong road up, though. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to use that, uh... Secret... Road room? Secret stair room? Well, what is the gimmick here? Just keep going up? Just keep going up? I'll fucking do it! We have to use that uh, secret stair room to get into all the other dungeons. Alright. Uh... I didn't buy a new potion. Oh, hey! Pose! I heard they don't like sound, whatever that could possibly mean. It's a secret to everybody. They won't hold still. Wow, these guys sure are a pain to kill. Only there was uh, some way to kill them instantly. If only. Hopefully we get, uh, a fairy in here somewhere, otherwise we're gonna have a rough time. Uh, mummies? Gibdos? What was their name? Dig Dogger hates certain kinds of sound! Which one was Dig Dogger? Again, I don't know if this works. Or this may be the flute thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh. There's some secret in here. Not that I think we can see it. Oh, yeah, we can. Mummy's alive in here. Oh, they hit hard. Oh. Oh, no. We got Dark Nuts again. Oh, oh, oh. They are not happy. I'm not allowed to push that until they are, are d d well and defeated. Holy shit! All right, well, fair enough. We might have to go back and get a potion because starting with three hearts is uh, not going to be fun. So much for that magic sword, huh? Man, if we came in here with the white sword, I don't want to imagine what we'd be dealing with. Thank you. 
All right, well, that that is worthless. Worthless. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. Oh, they're so smart. And arrows don't do anything. All right. Well, this is going to be fucking fun. Time to be alive. Alright, so what did I get out of this? A whistle? A flute? Just a warp to another part of the dungeon, I guess? Where the fuck am I? Oh, okay, yeah, we are, uh... Huh. Okay, so there... The, there is a, uh... A bad room. I don't know whether or not I want to go in there. All it does is essentially takes 100 rupees from us, which... Ah... Uh, Let's not do that. Hell, I don't even know if this room's worth it. We, uh, we desperately need that red ring. We're gonna be fighting dark nuts all day, every day. Alright, so what did this get us? Stairs? There's the flute. So, was Dig Dogger the... the boss? We can, we can die with no worries now. Alright, so we can bomb the wall to the right and we'll enter a room with an old man who will basically just say, I bet you'd like more bombs, wouldn't you? And he will take 100 rupees from us. So we're, we're not gonna do that. So I think that's... All right, fuck it. I don't know if that means that we're losing rupees or... I bet you'd like more to have more bombs! Yeah? What was the point of this room? Just lose 100 rupees? Yeah, okay. Silly me! Okay, no, we did get bombs, I think. It was a net loss. A hundred rupees worth of, uh, bombs was... I, I didn't need that. Actually, we do need that. So, actually, because I think the mini-boss for this level is the Dongos. Oh my god, no! Actually, maybe, maybe I should just let them kill me. Maybe I should just let them kill me. Hold on, let me look at this. Uh... Let's kill everybody here and go up. Or let them kill me and, uh... Save the hassle, I guess? What are we looking at here? We have to remember to go buy a potion when we get out of here. Unless we get horribly stuck, which is a possibility. Excuse me? Oh. We can't go in from uh, up. We need to go down. Gotcha. I 
But they did it real hard. Those two hearts worth of damage right there. Alright, well, I hope you like the dongos. Literally two dungeons ago, these guys were the big boss. Now they're making us fight three. Eat it. Eat it! Uh, there's a key to the left here. I don't even know if it's worth it. Probably should have headed north, actually. That would have given us a map. See the. Uh, what was this supposed to be? Hold on. What was this supposed to be? A lizard or a dragon? Yeah, I guess that's supposed to be a lizard. I don't think I quite see it. Yeah, the lizard. I, yeah, I don't see it. Get rupees out of this next room. I don't think it's worth it. Well, I guess now that we lost 100 rupees, yeah, it might be worth it. Fucking ugh. The goofiest stance. They're like, ooh! Spooky mummy. Hit you for two hearts. Scary. Oh my god. Enough with the goddamn dark nuts! It's not fun! At least these ones die in one hit. Uh, yeah, okay, up we go. Oh good. I don't want I don't want none of this. Uh okay, it's a locked door, so we can just leave. No issues, no problems. Why why do I keep making the same mistake? the boss. It's like he's in the next room or something. A secret power is said to be in the arrow! Alright. Get another locked door. We could just fucking mo go right to the next room, but we died, so... Lucky us. I don't know what that... Hold on here. Big Dogger hates certain kinds of sound. I don't know what that lip on the, the lizard is for. There, there's nothing in there, and it's after the boss. So why does it exist? At least they don't make me uh, fight them again. I can literally just walk. Nope. Let these Dodongos live free. There we go.
Oh my god. Please. Not like this. We just head left. Take unnecessary damage, as we usually do. Again, it all depends on uh, how hard this boss is. Which, if he hates a certain sound, uh, we'll see how that goes. Flute? Oh, he hates it! Oh, he hates it! Oh, he really hates it! Alright, so what's down here? Just a spooky mummy room? to this room. Oh, to trick us. Is there some sort of big reward, which I doubt it. Yeah, alright. Don't make me fight Dig Dogger again. That was the lizard. Next so we got the dragon. Which, again, we need to... What the fuck am I looking at here? Oh, yeah, we have the power bracelet, so we're just essentially going to another stairs room. Let's gotta figure out how we're getting out of here. After, of course, we get a potion, but uh, we'll deal with that in a bit. No, wait, we need 68 rupees. Okay, I would like to leave. Okay, I, I see. I see. Thank you. There we go. Ugh. Everybody look, it's our favorite character, Rock! Listen in the character pages, Rock! Where the fuck am I? Oh yeah, this... Just... Okay. Alright, we're, we're not too far off. I, I do need to sit and grind for rubies, though. be a thing we're gonna have to do. Yeah, it was right there. It was right here? Yeah. 68. Ah, uh, alright, well. Do Lionel's drop good rubies? Good muns? They don't when they hide from us like that. Uh, uh, fucking come on. Fucking come on. Thank you. They don't drop anything. Lionels have no need for money. Right, so this takes us... Basically, just have to fuck around until we find a bunch of Octoroks. So I don't want to mess around with the bee hats or any of these guys. Essentially, yeah, boy, fucking wasting that hundred rupees on that weird old man in the uh, dungeon was not our smartest move. Wanted to see. Didn't need that. Especially if we're gonna need like 250 rubies for uh, a red ring. 
Unless it's free. I won't complain. There, there are way less enemies around, it seems. What's going on? There's usually like six or seven Octoroks that spawn with... with... They've heard the Legend of Zelda! Which I don't know what has to do with Sync here, but... Uh, so anyway, the path that we would actually need to take here... Which would be just a straight warp to the left side of the map. So we don't have to walk all the way there. So let's actually explore this real quick. There's actually a reason for this uh, weird formation over here. So anytime we see this, that's actually very important. Just gotta figure out which rock we need to push. This is always the left, it's always the left. Got it. Okay, well, the left? No. Hold on here. Is, is it the middle? No. It, it's not the right. I don't fucking know. I think it's different depending on what entrance we go in. Take any road you want. I don't want that one. There we go. We're just here to uh, farm rubies for a bit. You know, I probably we, we probably would be fine now that we got full health, but we're not gonna risk it. See now, now they're spawning a whole bunch of enemies. There's something that was going on before. Of course, enemies don't respawn, so we're, we're going to be doing this for a bit. Quite a while. That just sucks. Why did I waste a hundred rupees on fucking nothing? Alright, two more rupees. That's all we need. Please. So thirsty. I need water. Nice, delicious blue water. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Thank God. Get me out of here. What was it from here? It was, uh, middle? Yeah. Weird. Alright, so we still got this here. We'll grab the potion. We could have just bought the cheap blue one, but the red... Worth it. It's only 18 more rupees. No, 28 more rupees. What am I doing? That's what happens when you turn your brain off. But being able to drink it twice, it's pretty good. All right, level six, the dragon. Oh, whiz robes, great. Oh, th th this nightmare begins. Oh, great. I, th I think our magic shield can deflect it, though, right? Yeah, it can. All right. 
We're not paying attention, though. It's gonna be a nightmare. Alright. So what do we got up here? Aim at the eyes of Goma! Alright. Really? Goma's our big boss here? That means I'm gonna need arrows. I assume. Which costs rupees. Oh boy, alright. Well. What? Killing one kills them all? Or did I do a secret tech? I'll just say I'm really good at this video game. I'll cover all the bases. Oh, so cool, so good. It's the ooh. Sweet, sweet slowdown. Holy shit! If there's anything in here for secrets, so we'll just keep moving. Deal with this nightmare room. Oh, blue is robes! Great! Making Mario 3 tail sounds. A weird choice. Okay, well, is that my shield? What did they just eat? Yeah, that was my magic shield. Well, shit. Think we can get it back? No, we can't. Well, that sucks. We don't fuck around with like legs. I'll have to go buy it again. Yeah, so now we can't deflect Wizrobe's attacks. Oh, it sucks. Oh, it sucks! That's where the nightmare begins. This guy's got a, a fairy or something. No. Nope. Oh, this might be a headache. Oh my god! Why would they make me do this? Just so it's fine. Get fuck off, though. Ow! Holy shit! All right. Well. Yikes. No, oh, we're gonna have to drink our potion, I guess. We literally just have to walk into the next room and it's, uh... Ghidorah? I don't remember its name. It'd be nice if I didn't have to do this every time. Boss. Oh, he's got three heads this time. All right, hold on here. We're gonna need this. Just wait for that to fill up. All of that. It's a good sound. Oh, this magic sword wasn't worth it at all. Jesus Christ. I, uh, fucking, I don't want to fuck with these light clicks. Well, I got nothing to lose now! I guess. Asshole! Piece of shit. 
shit. This map. Th again, that's supposed to be a dragon. I don't see it. So I need... Oh, look! They don't turn into, uh... Keys anymore. Oh, the fancy Wizrobe like-like room, our favorite. And for some reason, magic does not affect... The wiz robes, please fuck off. What do they eat this time? Nothing. My croissant. Good. Really was hoping this was going to be a staircase to a new item, but... This is taking me. Right next to the boss, apparently. Oh, yeah, no, it's right there to the left. Huh. Huh. Wait, we skipped a lot of this dungeon. Where the fuck was the item in here? Yeah, no, we're going to have to go get that. Oh, I see what it is. All right. It's the magic rod. Ugh. All right. Back we go. I'm glad we can still hear the boss, though. Just remind us. I'm going to have to drink my other potion, aren't I? Yep, Wizard Room. Oh, boy. What a great sound. Oh, hold on. How do bombs work on these guys? They love bombs? Oh, they love bombs. Perfect. Yeah, what now, idiots? And this one. I don't remember if these are any good. I, th I think it once again costs money. Yeah, so you need the uh, the spell book. Or who knows, maybe maybe it'll transform the whiz ropes into something. Or any enemy as as it is. Uh, okay, we can actually skip through a bunch of rooms here. Not no time like the present. I think we need to power it up is the problem. There are secrets where fairies don't live! I don't know what that means, old man. The fuck does that mean? Fairies don't live in a lot of places. 
Alright, so there's some other rooms, but there's not really anything in them. Just a bunch of whiz robes that honestly I don't want to deal with, so we're just gonna go straight to the boss. Oh good, alright, well. Let's see how uh, our wand affects these guys. Hee ya! Hee ya! Hee ya! Oh, it, it's awful. Oh, it's awful! So far this wand, not worth it. Maybe against the whiz robes. Keys? Oh, no. I really thought it transformed them into stuff. Apparently not. Right, so we head uh, down, left. Deal with any of your shit. Maybe it's good against Goma. Okay, what's well, worthless against Wiz Robes? Oh, if only I had a magic shield. All right, yeah, well, let's get our bow. With my arrow true. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> All right. All right, that was, that was coma, everybody. What a dickhead. Uh, hold on here. <laughs> yeah, okay, we, we still got three more dungeons here, but they are the hardest ones, so... I'm probably going to call this here, because this is going to take a while, and it's already 5 a.m., so, uh, yeah, that's probably good. Yeah, that's probably good. So, yeah, we, uh, we started really late today, which, unfortunately, caused the stream to run pretty short, but whatever. Uh, so we'll be, I guess, continuing Zelda tomorrow, today, technically. We were going to start Metroid, but whatever. We can start Metroid next week. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Zelda tomorrow. Today. However you want to look at it. Uh, we're continuing our Sonic Marathon on Saturday with uh, Tail Sky Patrol. Which we'll talk about on Saturday. And then, uh, yeah, next week we've got Metroid. And then eventually, on June 1st, we'll be playing Street Fighter on launch. So... We'll see how that goes. Look forward to a, a six hour stream of us just uh, creating a character, which I haven't figured out how I want to do that yet, but we'll figure that out when we get there, I guess. But uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So uh, thanks everybody for tuning in and uh, we'll see everybody on the next stream for uh, more Zelda, I guess. So uh, we'll see everybody then.